surely virtual reality is becoming the future for a lot of these companies in our tech. But Google is really putting their best foot forward and they're doing so with a version of virtual reality that is not only affordable, but is pretty accessible and available to everybody. Hey, it's Joshua Vergara from Android Authority. What's going on, everybody? And this is a look at the updated version of Google Cardboard. But one of the best enhancements of it is that, well, if you watch my video from last year, I had a little bit of trouble putting it together. There were quite a few steps that were required, uh, and I felt like a bit of a dunce because I couldn't get it together quite so easily. Uh, but this year's iteration of cardboard, uh, especially the one that is now made for devices like the Nexus 6, is now in a more in a easier to assemble package, I should say. So we're gonna go ahead and just slide out all of the elements here. We have. Uh, this sleeve that we're going to get out. I'm going to go through this setup with you guys right now. So we're going to take that out. Of course, simple Google design there on the bottom right. We have some information right here, including the viewer profile and the, the apps and the product safety information. And there you go. We have our instructions right here. So our instructions pretty much tell us to bring the these portions down. Almost looks like Darth Vader there. <laughs> and then once those are Velcroed into place, the next thing we have to do is just bring that over. And there we go. Cardboard is as easy to put together as it has ever been. Last year, it took me, I think like a couple minutes and a little bit of video editing magic uh, to get this thing together. Uh, but now we have the area here to put the phone in. So if we were gonna work with, let's say, the Nexus 6, which I have right here, it'll fit just fine there. Cardboard IO 2015, all right, here we go. Let's go ahead and install some cardboard apps here. So you can see that there are quite a few applications that are there, uh, one in particular. I'm gonna download it, I'm not really excited about it, but it's called Insidious VR. Oh God, I don't wanna get scared, but I'm gonna do it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna download that. Let's see how big it is. 190 megabytes, so it's gonna take a little bit. You is you is a gateway to the light and a chance to live again. Oh wow, this is terrifying. Things are happening. Oh, the sound is really scary. And I'm being, I'm, I'm actually being shown things being thrown, thrown at me, and it's pretty terrifying. So that's just an example of the new cardboard. Like uh, in, in terms of just the device-centric uh, feel of cardboard, it has become bigger and able to take phones like the Nexus 6, which is really great. But what really intrigues me about cardboard this year is the fact that cardboard will be made available for a lot of different platforms, one of which being education. Now, of course, we can, we're can. we already going to be talking about uh, in the coming months the fact that you can create the content for VR on your own using camera arrays and GoPro is going to actually have one available and I'm sure it's going to cost a fortune. Uh, but what really gets me about cardboard now is that, well, it's just a piece of cardboard, maybe a little bit of plastic over here, and you're able to just sort of put it together. Uh, after that, you throw your smartphone in there and you'll be able to view pretty much anything. And if we're able to create moments and scenes from pretty much anywhere in the world, um, then basically what happens is that we can share uh, what may not be shareable to particular people. And in education, that could be about going to places like in China or going to places across the world, Egypt, everywhere, and actually seeing firsthand what we would only see in 2D in our textbooks. Um, I'm not that far removed from college, but it, with with a immer more immersive experience from, let's say, my high school years and my junior high years, it probably would have created an even better experience of schooling for someone like me uh, that is very sensory-centric. Um, I need to be able to hear and see things in order to really connect with them, uh, rather than just reading them off of a page and being told what it's supposed to be about. Uh, and cardboard might be the gateway that Google is creating for all of these kids, uh, and eventually it's going to become not only an immersive educational experience, but an immersive experience all out of its own. And really, it's all just through something like this. There are obviously better VR headsets out there that will provide even better experiences, but really that's not the point of cardboard. The point is that it is democratizing the information in such a way that makes it better than anything we've had before. Uh, fully immersive, fully able to be seen in depth in telescopic ways, uh, and to become a part of those moments. 
That's the thing about Google I.O. is that it really provides those kinds of moments for people uh, where they realize that, wow, this, uh, this, this future of technology is really looking pretty bright. And if VR is the future, well, we have a pretty nice entry point right here. So keep it tuned to Android Authority for even more. I'm reporting to you live here from Google I.O. 2015 here in San Francisco, California. Stay tuned for even more because we are your source for all things Android.